Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, like I said in the previous video, today I don't have a discussion of my own. Most of you send me a lot of uh, stories that you want me to air out on this pipeline, so we are continuing to bring those stories uh, out until we finish with that backlog. So we'll do this one at a camera Africa journey, but we are going to air out everything. So there is a story that was shared in uh, Taifa Leo, and this was after Gashago had an interview in uh, Inoro, and he made a claim that his life is in danger. This is what he has said. Maisha yangu yako hatarini. Naibu Rais asema huenda makateli katika sekta ya kahawa wakamua. You know, hey, this one is sounding so funny. The Shagwa is never inspiring confident in Kenyans. This is a deputy president. Kenyans don't see all that Kenya also shared. The Shagwa further remarks uh, further remarked how the government was forced to increase security of governor uh, after her life was also put in danger. The Shagwa revealed how his life could be in danger. If you read that story, uh, this is what he's saying. Eh? The president assigned me the task of leading those people because at least I have more uh, resources, including security, because these people are not good people. The president asked me to gather several CSS. We have CS Kuria, Agriculture CS, Mythical Enturi, and the Cooperative and Micro, Small, and Medium Enterprise Development CS Chelugui. So he's saying this war cannot be won by governors. This can only be won by deputy president and the president. Those people are dangerous and they can even kill you. He's saying this. You may remember all of this story is about the cartels in the coffee and tea industry. They tried to bribe our CS Mythical in Turi with the 30 million when our government came into power. They said the money was from the cartels and that it was a welcome gift. He's making all those weird claims to justify the reason why William Rutter appointed him to lead the tax force on coffee and tea and milk in Mount Kenya. The question is, is she the Yamajani, Kahawa, Namaziwa Iko to Mount Kenya Pekeake, Ama is across the country? What's the Shagwa telling Kenyans? What is it telling Kenyans? There are several questions we will ask here. Because the business is engaging in is a devolved function, agriculture is devolved. We have a question to raise here, and the first question will be, what is the intention of a statement to start the claim about insecurity and the issue of his life being in danger, and the claim about his brother, who was the former governor of Nyeri? Before we continue, just a quick request, for those who are watching and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. The truth is that if you check on what Gashagwa has been trying to do in the claim to solve the issue of the price of coffee and tea in the Mount Kenya region, you will find that they have sidelined governors. The big question will become that how do you sideline governors? When the issue you are trying to sort out is devolved, even when a president comes to an area and they want to, you know, involve in uh, programs that is in line with the current government, the governor will always be involved. The Shago has aligned governors in the Mount Kenya region. He's now bringing in Kuria. Kuria is going to county government. Chelubuya konakazgani kwa county government. And Nagashagwa konakazgani kwa county government. They don't have any duty. They don't have any responsibility in terms of agriculture. 
mambo ya majani chai ni kazi ya governor developed function mambo ya kahawa ni kazi ya governor mambo ya maziwa ni kazi ya governor they are taking over and they are diverting attention to the issue of security and now bring, see the claim is bringing in it is because of security that's why they handed over to me this one cartels will kill these governors how this is the thinking of dictators they think their position is always right that's why it's making that claim but Mohamed well, Tuku has a message to William Ruto and to Kenyans on the same. This is what he's saying. Dear Mr. President, the governor of M. Cecilia Barile has named the following three multinational as the cartel in coffee subsector. Newman, Ekom, and Sakafina, Kenya. The governor accuses the companies of engaging and buying my uh, mailing and marketing the coffee the kenyans in general are and the coffee farmers in particular are waiting to see the action your government will take given that cartels are blamed for everything wrong in agriculture count down one question someone will ask himself is if we have private sector engaging in a a coffee, coffee and a tea business. Why is the government fighting private individuals who are providing an opportunity where the government has failed? How do you fight them? How do you sort out this problem? So the Shagwa intention is to fight private investors. Now the people is referring to us cartels are people who have set up their own factories. They buy coffee, they add value, they sell. So how do you sort out this problem? Alisema kuna cartels wa kununua maziwa wanauzia wana wana wananchi wanauza maziwa yao kwa bei hasara. Kwa nini yeye asiende ku launch pale yake ya serikali inunua kwa bei nzuri rather than fighting people who are doing their own business? That will make me to see no innocence in Gashagwa. And that's why he's bringing in the claim of security. He talked about his brother's death because he was fighting cartels. Above all, to confirm that Gashagwa is selling hot air, go and check. The last time, Uhuru Ghana regime was paying coffee farmers. Go and check the last the last payment that was done. You'll find William Ruto is paying 50 shillings less than what Uhuru was paying. In some areas is paying 20 shillings less than what Uhuru was paying. In some areas is paying 30 shillings less than what Uhuru was paying. Says Uhuru Ayuko. Mashaka ni sema Uhuru ni pia kwa kampuni ya cartels. Says tuko na kampuni ya Gashagwa and William Ruto Limited. Why is farmers being paid less? One thing the shepherd has brought in the issue of security. It tells you that he has no any plan to fight. People he referred to as cartels. There were no cartels. If it is a big cartel, it is this William Ruto Gashagwa Limited Company. The shepherd should tell Kenyans his interest in coffee. Gashagwa should be telling Kenyans what interest he has in a tea. He must come out clear on his interest to do with the milk. Because seemingly, when you start sublining governors and you are handling the issue to do with a, a developed function of agriculture, 70% of agriculture is developed. What is his business? Let the money come through county disbursement fund. And sort out issues that is in. Yeye ako tuna mpango yake kwa hii mamba ya majani, kawa, and is not telling the truth. Soon is going to be another cartel here. 
His business is to persuade those who are in the coffee business to have his way. He need the money from these people. That's why he's learning everyone, even the members of parliament. He go and uh, form a tax force. He call for public participation, but he's one even going down on village there to select who can be in that committee. Members of government cannot have a say on who will be in that committee. Governors have no say on who will be in that committee. Even MCS have no say. It is Gashagwa and his people. And I want to work here. I go to executive. I go to executive. And I go to the government county government without involving the people down here in the county level. That is one business. So farmers are going to be taken round in circle. That was, that's why uh, uh, Nani Mohamed Tuku is bringing out that information. The Shakwa is going to take farmers in round circles without any solution. At the end of the day, it will be five years of pain with the increased taxes and the farmers are going to cry more. Hata shukisha sababu wamepandisha tu, hata shukisha nini. Ilikuwa ikuwe chini ya hiyo na mkulima apata faida zaidi. So ushuru yao imewakezeka pale ndiyo maana mkulima anafiyo. Unless if Gashaga is telling us that William Ruto and his government are opposing a threat to him. Maybe he is feeling that he is threatening this government. He has no peace. Unless he is crying about that, he should tell Kenyans that his security is in a in, in big problem. Atuambia kama serikali ya William Ruto imemeka katika hali ya ukosefu wa security. So that we can now know the truth. Maybe he's taking us around the circles and you know that maybe this government has no good plan with him that he's feeling insecure with this government. You should tell Kenyans. If not, then it is his own interest and it should stop taking us through circles. But we know what he's looking for. And should be telling Kenyans why he's aligning governors in his task force to deal with the issue of coffee, milk and tea.